You know what that reminded me of when he was basically saying ignore the presences that are behind this door no matter what they try to do to get your attention. That kind of reminds me like when you see like a horror movie or something like a ball roll from a room or like a door creak open or things like that and then all of a sudden everyone's like oh I gotta go <gasps> Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. My name is Dylan, also known as Six Fox, and today we are going to be playing a game called God's Basement. Now, I literally do not know too much off of this game when it comes to what it's about. I kind of worded that weird. I saw <laughs> This is the intro scene, and that little other billboard that I saw earlier would be like a chapter. So we're going to call this chapter one. Okay, I gotta turn it up just a little bit. I'm not trying to get like that ear rape option, but I hear a phone ringing. What is that? That's a kitty. Okay, I was it's like, I thought it was a person, but it didn't quite look like a person. Okay, so hang on, let's go answer the phone. Hello, and welcome to God's Basement, a place for special individuals such as yourself. I realize that you may be a bit confused at the moment, but don't worry. Everything will be explained soon. You might not be able to remember everything about your past just yet, but those memories will return soon. You might be wondering who else is here, but you'll meet the inhabitants of God's basement soon enough. I know that I might seem suspicious, but for now, I'm going to need you to trust me. Whenever you're ready, exit the room and keep walking until you find the room with the blue light. From there, I'll provide further instructions. Okay. Also, if you see or hear anything strange or unusual, ignore it to the best of your ability. <laughs> I'll talk to you once you reach the designated area. Good luck. I'm just like really trying not to like knock on it right away because like the voice sounds like he's like, Welcome to God's basement. Uh. I know I sound a little suspicious, and this doesn't look like your classic, uh, 9 to 5 job, but, uh, you're just gonna have to trust me. <laughs> like, I don't know, it's just like the classic, like, mysterious voice over the cassette that you need to trust, and he, he knows what's going on in God's basement, and there's other individuals, but, okay, with, <laughs> without the judgmental critique right there, um, we're, we're just gonna dive into this bad boy. Okay, uh, wait a minute. Frank Young, the family tree. You, James Young. Okay, I know this is said God's basement, but it's really taken on the form of, like, a classic 9 to 5 office, like I was saying earlier. And why would there be, like, a family tree poster? Can I interact with this? Okay, uh, so there's just a mother, father, brother, grandmother. Okay, classic family tree. I don't see anything too suspicious with that. That door is, uh, locked. Okay, well, can we mess with the box? No, we cannot mess with the box. Okay, the office. Apparently, there's a room with the blue light. I heard something about a blue, right? Blue, blue light. And there's gonna be further instructions. Use the object. V. Okay. Oh, I did. Okay. I <laughs> I don't know exactly what to say there. Um two dead in a fatal crash by Stephen or Steve St Stephen Steven St did I really just say seven <laughs> it's probably Steven in a fatal crash a fatal accident oh wait there we go there we go that's gonna be so much easier to read. A fatal accident that occurred last week is currently being investigated. Reporters say that an elderly couple along with their infant grandson were driving along an interstate highway when the driver lost control. The vehicle swerved off the road and crashed into a tree. The driver, a retired elderly man by the name of Frank Young, was killed in the accident along with his infant grandson. 
Kevin Young. So I know the Frank, I think that's the great, wait a minute, I gotta go back to that family tree though. So the survivor of the crash, Margaret Young, is in stable condition and rumors suggest that al alcohol might have been involved in the incident, but there is insignificant evidence to properly conclude the suspicion. Okay, give me a second here. I'm gonna put that note down here. Wait, everything's getting wavier. Is that just me? James Young, no. Kevin... Oh. Oh, that's kind of creepy. It, like, it knew that I wanted to go check this out. So the grandfather is dead, and that's what I'm going to presume is with the blood... Oh, no. I was going to say, that wasn't there the first time that I was looking at this, but I see the blood growing the more I stare. I probably should not be staring at that. I know that sounds really weird, but I probably don't think that's going to be a good idea. Okay, there's a key. That that was kind of weird. Um so I yeah, I was going to figure that this key was going to go to this locked door. I'm going to shut it. Just to make sure, I don't know what it is, but every time I play horror games, I have this little kind of like anal voice in the back of my head that tells me to always close the doors behind me. Let's go into the first room, see what we can find. There's nothing on the wall that we can read there. What about this computer? No, this is just like an ordinary desk, I would say. Let's try to move on to the next room here. Oh, okay, is this supposed to be the blue light? Because this is like the little blue atmosphere thingamajinger. Okay, we gotta remove the barricade. If you are new to God's basement, trust the operator who will guide you. What? If, <laughs> if you are new to God's basement, trust the operator. So this is the second time that we were told to trust the operator. I don't have any flashlight that is available. Is there anything on this back desk that we can even take a look at that we can kind of read? There's another computer that's on. Is this a piece of paper that we can grab? Nope. Another phone. Okay. Maybe let's just... Okay, maybe you got to just skedaddle on out of here. Just kidding, we can't. Oh, wait, 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 wait. There's, oh, the phone, the phone. Hang on, okay, okay. I see you found your way to the blue room. I hope you didn't have too much trouble finding it. By the way, I forgot to mention who I am. Just call me the operator for now. It's not an official name. But I find it quite catchy. You're making great progress so far. We've been having some issues with the lights recently, so you'll need a flashlight. There's that. That's where the flashlight was going to be coming in. I knew there was going to be one. Next to a radio. It'll be quite handy in the upcoming areas. I know that this may not be what you expected, but the truth is, there are many versions of life after death, and God's basement is one of them. Thank you for trusting me. Your cooperation is greatly appreciated. Once again, if you run into anything suspicious or strange, ignore it to the best of your ability. I'll talk to you again in the next room after you retrieve the flashlight. Good luck. So there's supposed to be a flashlight next to a radio, according to the operator. I guess that's what he likes to be called. Uh, the thing is, we just need to find the radio. Now, is it going to be in this room? Do I need to backtrack? Is there something I may have missed? Okay, we have the opportunity to backtrack. Now, I don't want to stay here too long. And I don't want to get stuck. But the question is on this radio. Because I do not at all remember or even recall seen one in the first place. Wait. Wait a minute. Okay, hang on. All, all of a sudden, this door is unlocked. And 
Maybe I didn't try it the first time, so maybe it was always unlocked. Or maybe... Hang on, we're gonna go try this room. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> I was like, we're gonna go try this room, and then there it is creaking. So this is definitely the radio. Got the flashlight. And of course, it's like the most sketchiest dim lit freaking flashlight I've ever seen in my life. Ah, uh, I don't care for this. Why do flashlights always suck, man? Can we just get a solid flashlight once in my life? Okay. Uh, I see you found a flashlight. Past this door, things can get quite dangerous. Your memories from your past life are still probably blurry, but they'll start coming back shortly. For the time being, make your way down through the hallway. I highly advise you not to spend too much time looking around. Nah, dude. If anything makes an attempt to get your attention, You know what that reminded me of when he was basically saying ignore the presences that are behind this door no matter what they try to do to get your attention. That kind of reminds me like when you see like a horror movie or something like a ball roll from a room or like a door creak open or things like that and then all of a sudden everyone's like oh I gotta go ch <laughs> Oh shit, that's what I was talking about, <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> oh, that was perfect timing, okay. Oh, we're gonna ignore it just like he said. Oh boy, I was just trying my best to explain and not actually, okay, okay. Yeah, you got me, boy. I'll give you that one. Okay. Give me a hot second here. That's a little dark. Of course that one is, uh... <gasps> Why? It's so freaking dark, dude. It's so dark. It's so freaking sketchy, dude. I can barely see like 10 feet in front of me, man. Is that still locked? Why do you want me to go back and retrace my steps? Was there something here I missed? God did not... I should have ignored it. I should have ignored it. Oh my goodness. Dude, I don't fucking like this, dude. This is like, this went from like zero to a hundred. I feel like all the horror games that I've been playing lately have just been going from... She's still there. Was I... was I supposed to backtrack? Oh. Oh. Okay. So... <laughs> so all this time that I spent 
being super confused. I found out if you right click, you can like zoom into things and observe them. And whatever the hell was in that room over here, I decided to zoom in on it and it walked away. Oh no, 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 no. I don't want to go down there. No, 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 no. Mm, you son of a bitch. Okay, the door is open. Hang on, hang on. This is, this is the room she was in. I don't... <laughs> I don't mess with this, man. I don't mess with this. <laughs> okay. In other news, a car crash resulted in the death of a grandfather and an infant child. Authorities reported that the car swerved off the road and crashed into a tree. The only survivor was the grandmother of the infant child. Although she suffered major injuries, she is currently in stable condition. Authorities also reported that the grandfather was driving the vehicle and that alcohol might have been involved in the incident. Yeah, we're gonna leave. <laughs> I am out of there, boy. We're gonna go check the door to our left now. Okay, okay, cool, it's open. Okay, so there's a little bit of a different events that we had to do to get that to open up. Let's go check out this room. Is this a piece of paper? Okay, I can't read it either way. I had to go like this, okay. They never answered any of my letters or my calls. I waited an eternity to hear the sound of their voices. Okay. I don't know who that's from or what they're waiting. Like, was it after the crash or maybe somebody was in a hospital or something like that? And, okay, that door's locked as well. And they were just supposed to be don't no, no, okay all the doors are locked wait oh the phone's going off again okay hang on that was in this room we need to go answer the phone here So I've been stuck at this spot for a while and a Wow, okay. That's what I was going to say is I actually had to look up a little cheat sheet on the full game uh the full walkthrough whatever a uh, little video here and this door just opened up but for now it it finally opened up so either way whatever all problems aside we can finally continue with this bad boy because this door wasn't opening up for me for the longest time so I'm glad that we finally got that resolved. Okay. Whew. Okay, next room. Here we are. We're back in a lobby of some sort. I still have my flashlight. There's another note here. Let's read this bad boy. So, dear mother. Hey, I know it's been a while since we last saw each other, but I just wanted to let you know that the delivery was successful. It's a perfectly healthy boy, and we've named him James. He's absolutely adorable, and I can't wait for you to meet him. Take care, your son, Neil Young. All right, so Neil had a kid. Is this something else that we can- I'm glad you made it through in one piece. Whatever you saw might have jogged your memory a bit, even though all of it occurred before you were born. Your parents, Neil and Sarah Young, had a son named Kevin. Your grandparents were looking after him when an unfortunate incident occurred. After losing their only son, your parents decided it would be best to create some distance between your grandmother. Although she tried her best to seek their forgiveness, the grief they felt was too painful. For a long time, they stayed out of contact with your grandmother. After a few years, they had you, James Young. They still were quite distant with your grandmother, possibly afraid the same incident might happen again. I don't want to bore you too much with those details. 
There is something I require from you. For you to unlock more of your memories, you need to go deeper into God's basement. To do that, you need to retrieve a security card to get past the door to your right. Fortunately, there is one down the hallway to your left. Just follow it all the way down, past the area with the red lights and it should be in a storage room filled with shelves. Once you retrieve it, bring it back and slide it across the panel next to the door. I know you still have your suspicions, but I swear all your questions will be answered. Once you have a complete understanding of your past life, I'll tell you what God's basement really is, but you have quite some ways to go. Keep doing exactly as I say, and one last thing, good luck. Simple and straightforward, it seems. Still seems like there's kind of some mystery here between why there was a reason he was separated from his grandmother and how we saw that demon girl and how that is supposed to jog our memory of our past life in some way now he said it was going to be on the shelves it might be in here wait is this like an operator's room Wait a minute. Oh. Is it a puzzle? Five. Hang on, hang on, one, two. Five, one, two, six, four, three. There we go. Okay. We got that. There we go. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. So let's shoot over to this open door, which kind of is resembling the blue room in a sense now there should be a girl down there hang on there should be a girl down there let's take a look oh yeah she's hiding behind the shelf okay okay i'm gonna try to get ready for a jump scare or something because apparently the security camera says that there is somebody behind this shelf that is gonna be straight ahead But wait, 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 wait. When I zoom in, there's nothing here. Oh, that is kind of weird. I don't know if I'm a fan of that one. Okay, is there a se All we're looking for is a security card. We just need to get in and we need to get out. What's with the music? Okay, we're just we're just looking for a card. Oh th wait, is that the card? Okay, we got the card, we got the card. Okay. And of course the lights are going out. And the lights went out. And we're probably gonna get spooked. <laughs> Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. How about I catch you on the flip side and uh, we're gonna just go use this- Okay, 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 okay. Shut this, shut this damn thing. No one was in there. Uh, okay. Let's freaking get out of here and get back to that room. I'm gonna kill the flashlight for a second. Okay, let's just make sure we can get there safe. Oh boy, we made it. Okay, there we go. Ah, uh, all right. <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, this is actually where I am going to be ending it for the first episode of God's Basement. Now, what I want you guys to do is let me know how you guys are enjoying this new game, this new little series. Let me know if you like it. Let me know if you don't like it. But either way, we are going to finish this for sure. I just think it kind of has like it has good ups. And it also has some kind of awkward stale moments. Obviously, you're not going to see those, but there's been some puzzles or I should say little situations in this game that uh, end up taking way too long. And I think it kind of just slightly abrupts the flow. But either way, I don't need to go into that too much. I kind of like the concept 
so far, which is going to be good enough for me to obviously finish this so you guys can see how this one ends. But either way, ladies and gentlemen, the next time that we come back to play this bad boy, we will see what is behind this red door. I don't know, it's not really a red door, it's more of like a red, red little uh, keypad right there, but either way, thank you guys for sticking with it, I can't, I can't, I can't fucking do my intros and I can't do my outros, but either way, if you're new, subscribe, I would like to see you guys here tomorrow at 11am for the next episode, and if you've been here for a while now, thank you for tuning in, my name is Dylan, also known as Six Fox, and I will catch you guys in the next episode, see you then.